Hey, this week we're gonna talk the long-term strategy. This is what we call the wealth accumulator. I've learned this from somebody that's way smarter than me. We recommend this to all of our clients and I'm in my process too. So I'm gonna include a graphic for you right here. You can pause the video. But here are the four steps to accumulating wealth. Step one is to buy your primary home that's about three times what you make. So if you make 100,000, you can buy a home that's 300,000. If you make 300,000, you could buy a home that's 900,000. Again, these are general guidelines, so talk to smart people in your life. Step two is to save an emergency fund at minimum $25,000. The reason why we wanna do this is that if you run into a problem in your life, you don't wanna to have to sell your asset to alleviate the problem, and you don't wanna swipe a credit card and continue to accumulate debt. So save up at minimum $25,000 for an emergency fund. Step three is once you have your emergency fund set up, now we wanna to begin to max out our retirement accounts. And you wanna do this as early as possible because time is your friend. The other reason why we wanna do that is because a lot of your retirement accounts are pre-taxed money, and also a lot of employers have matching programs, so that's free money. So you wanna increase and max out your retirement accounts. Once you're increased and you've maxed out your retirement accounts, step four is any additional money on top of that, now you wanna to begin to invest in the stock market. Buy the S&P 500, 80% of your extra money should go into the S&P 500. Anything on top of that, that's where you can buy your single stocks, your Apple, Tesla, and whatever you think is nice. Do that with that money. Now, back around to the beginning of the wheel, we're back to step one. Once your cash net worth matches your equity in your home, that's when you can begin to think about buying your second property. So that way you're buying real estate smart. You're not over leveraging yourself in real estate compared to your cash value, but you're also accumulating your real estate so you can continue to increase your wealth. This is a repeating cycle and you continue that cycle so that you can find financial freedom and accumulate wealth and do great.